Old River Church, I am excited about this Sunday. After 13 weeks of being online only, this Sunday we're going to be back in person. So I kind of want to walk through a little bit about what you'd expect when you get here on Sunday. It's going to be a lot the same, same location. Well, Jersey Shore YMCA, same time, 10 o'clock. A lot of this is going to be the same, but there are going to be a lot of differences as well. So I kind of want to walk us through that so you know what to expect when you get here. First thing you're going to see is our greeters are going to be out here in this alleyway behind the wire right by the entrance we go in. And they're going to be doing something a little weird, a little different for us. Instead of our normal hugs and handshakes, we're going to ask us to, to continue the social distancing. So figure out a way to do it, whether it's an air high five or an air hug or whatever you come up with. We want to certainly greet each other, but we're going to ask you to continue that social distancing the whole time while you're here. Also in the alleyway is going to be a sign. It'll be on one of our A-frame signs, but it's going to look like this one. I'm going to ask you every Sunday just to take a look at that. You don't need to answer those questions to anybody else, but we're going to ask you just to think about it. Uh, do I have any of the symptoms? Am I at a higher risk? Have I been in contact with someone who has COVID? And if the answer is yes to any of those, I'm going to ask you to enjoy the service from online and at home that Sunday until you're feeling better or you've been uh, not exposed to anyone else. So let's go on inside and I'll tell you how it's going to be in here. Well, it's the same gym. It's not set up yet for Sunday morning, but it'll be set up like we usually do it. When you walk in, there'll be some hand sanitizer here. We encourage you to use it you come in. You know, we're really trying to focus on keeping everybody safe. So things like hand sanitizer, things like the, the two downstairs bathrooms will be the only bathrooms open. We'll have those sanitized ahead of time as well. And even the chairs that we set out, we'll be sanitizing all those each Sunday morning. We'll also not be handing out a bulletin. So some of you might want to bring a, a pad of paper so you can take some notes during the service as well. There'll be an offering collection box that'll be sitting here as well that you can place your offering in. Uh, or most of us will probably just continue to give online, and I would encourage you to do that. One of the big changes, and those of you who are coffee drinkers, you really need to pay attention. We're not going to be offering our normal food and coffee in the back each Sunday morning. So, you'll need to bring your own coffee with you if you're one of those people who have to have coffee to function every Sunday morning. So I encourage you just to bring it with you, and, uh, and let that be a part of your normal routine now. When you come in, you'll see the chairs that are normally set up in rows. They're going to be set up in clusters. Clusters of two and three, maybe four. We're asking you to sit with the people you live with. That way we're continuing that social distancing, continuing to keep people safe while they're here at the YMC for service. So sit with the people that you came with. And we'll have those clusters about six feet between each cluster. Well, the big question is always these things. Masks. Do we have to wear masks or not? We're following CDC guidelines for everything to the best of our ability. And right now the CDC has this recommendation, but we also realize that there are changes constantly for what they recommend. But as of right now, they're encouraging us to have everyone wear masks from the time you leave your car to the time you sit down. And if you get up during the service, you definitely need to be wearing your mask. And if you leave the service at the end, and uh, from your seat all the way back to your car again, we're asking you to wear your mask. Once you're in your seat, and we're ready for the service. Again, we're just following the CDC guidelines, and the guidelines from them right now are that we would just simply encourage you to wear your mask the whole time. So wear it all the way in. Once you're seated, we would encourage you to, and then once you leave, we definitely need you to wear it on the way out as well. We're not going to have Oak River Kids or the nursery at first, but as you come in, there'll be a table that has some handouts for the kids, some coloring pages, some activity sheets, We've got individually wrapped packets of crayons like you might get at a restaurant. So if you need those, they'll be available each week for you as well. And uh, that way your kids can be entertained and, and be a part of the service and be with you during the whole time that we're here each Sunday. We're also working to keep our service to, to no more than an hour because we want to make it something that's family friendly since the kids will be with our families the entire time. One of the other strange things will be when it's all done. This church has been so phenomenal from the very beginning about helping to tear things down. We're going to ask you not to do that for a while. We're going to ask you to, when the service is done, to just head straight back out to your cars, and those few people will stay and tear things down and get things ready for the next Sunday. It's all going to be a little different, but it's exciting because if we make those right precautions, we both keep each other safe and our community safe, and it makes it so that we can have live worship, in-person worship again. I realize that not everyone's ready 
to come back for services yet. If you're not ready or if you're in a high-risk category or if you've got some symptoms, I would encourage you to stay home, but enjoy it from home. We've invested in some equipment so that we can live stream. And hopefully, if there are no glitches from service one this coming Sunday, we'll be live streaming. If there are any glitches, we'll have the service posted later in the week so that you can be a part of it as well. You know, it's the same time and it's the same place as before, but there's certainly going to be a lot of differences. This has always been a place of grace. We've always been very gracious and accepting to one another. And I would just ask you to be especially gracious to people who may have a little different view of COVID and the circumstances and the precautions that should be taken. So just please have extra grace for each other this coming Sunday moving forward. Well, 13 weeks, it's been online only. It's going to be great to be back together again this Sunday. I can't wait to see a Sunday at 10 o'clock.